Hey guys, Alexis here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, welcome to A Beautiful Mix, where I like to share lifestyle content, career, and a sprinkle of dance too. Um, if you don't know, I'm a flight medic in the Air Force Reserves, and so in this video, I want to share some questions that you should ask your recruiter. Um, I noticed that some of you guys haven't even gone to depth flight, you're still on the fence, you were thinking about joining years ago and it's come back up now. And so just thinking about my process and being recruited and speaking with my recruiter, I thought to share some questions to definitely ask um, that would help solidify your decision. My recruiting process, I felt like I was doing everything by myself. I didn't feel like I was guided or or anything <laughs> so um but you know for me that's okay i don't mind taking the initiative or asking questions or finding resources so i was cool and at, at that point in my life i mean i had my i had my own bills i was paying rent <laughs> so i was okay <laughs> but uh here are some questions that you should definitely ask the first one has to do with jobs so the cool thing when it comes to reserves is that we have more of a luxury to pick our job before we even get to basic and so when you're presented with a list it's helpful if you already know what you're interested in what your preferences are what your lifestyle should be and what you need to live it um, that will help determine what job you want to go with right and so i kind of already had those things already in my brain and knew as a dancer as someone who's physically active as someone who loves the body that medical is the only thing i want <laughs> right so i made that very clear so when you get a list of jobs weigh those options that i just discussed and choose wisely also ask where is that job available so what base would you actually be attached to because you don't want to choose a job and have to drive five hours to get there do you want to drive five hours so make those things clear ask those questions so that your time in the reserves, it's enjoyable, it's not a hassle, your commute isn't stressful and straining, right? Um, when it comes to your job and fulfilling your commitment. Also, if the recruiter knows anything about the length of your tech school, ask them that. I know the Air Force website, I think for my job specifically, it says, you know, you go to BMT and then you go to tech school. That's very big because with my job, we have a first phase, a second phase, we have seer, we have water survival, we have flight school. It's a long time, it's a lot of training, right? So if your recruiter knows anything about the length of your tech school, ask that. You'll also have the opportunity to ask more in-depth questions and more specific questions when it comes to tech school when you're in depth flight. The second thing that you should ask and clarify is what rank or grade are you going into the Air Force as or with? right i had friends during basic who had trouble with their pay because there was confusion about how much they should be getting paid and at what rank or grade so make sure that's clear if you have if you have college credits or you did rotc submit that information to your recruiter so that that gives you a leg up and you get paid more money i went in with a few college credits behind me so I was able to get paid as an airman versus an airman basic during BMT. So make sure you ask those questions and see if, if you are eligible for more money. And if so, cool. Next, you should ask about benefits or perks that come with the length of your contract. Do you get benefits signing a six year versus a four year? And what does that actually mean? The two additional years that it lays out in the contract, what does that mean? What's your obligation? So ask the questions about all those words in the contract versus just signing, but ask questions, be in depth, make your recruiter do some work, okay? The next thing that you should ask is if you're currently in school, right? Do you need to stop your schooling? I mean, you would have to, to go to BMT and tech school, but what does that look like for you realistically? Is it something that you can resume immediately after? Is that something that you need to ask your unit? Um, if your school is in a different state than your base, what does that mean? And those are all questions that you can ask during depth flight too. And it's actually preferable because your recruiter may not know. They might just have a general knowledge or they may say something to you that's not actually true. My friend also had that issue too. <laughs> and so I think during BMT, there's like this running joke that my recruiter said and everyone would just roll their eyes because 
their information isn't fully reliable <laughs> all right but um if you are in school make sure you disclose that information just so that they know that your school knows that there's communication there um and nothing comes as a surprise to you during your process too and the last thing and this should probably be the first thing you should ask is the difference between active reserve and guard what are, the, what are the benefits? What suits your lifestyle? What are you looking for? In my case, uh, my dad is army. My dad just uh, recommended reserves. So I was like, cool, I'll go with that. And I knew reserves was not full-time and I didn't want to be full-time. So reserves made sense for me and I just went with it. But if you want to know the difference, maybe guard serves you more. Ask the differences and see what works best for you. Maybe you go in thinking reserves is what you need and then you say guard or maybe active depending on what you need at the moment. So ask that question too um, to see what best serves you. Understand that your recruiter is a resource and they're there to answer questions. Okay, though they have a quota to make, they are there to answer your question. So no question is a dumb question and it's better to ask than regret that you didn't ask after you signed the line after you signed your name, after you're at BMT and you're in tech school too. Yeah, so I hope these questions were helpful. If you have any other questions that you think I could answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the button and you do. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.